Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Oblivion. Uh, this lady walked up to me and was like, Hey, are you new? And I was like, Well, yeah, I am. Likewise, I'm always glad to meet someone new. Welcome. I'm sure. I assume that this is like content, so I'm gonna do it on camera. My mother owns Northern Goods and Trade in Coral, the Fighters Guild. Okay. I'm saving anyone looking. Blessings of Miss Stara upon Miss Stara, huh? Good afternoon. How are you? What? Bye. Well, she owns a good store, and I am looking for one, so. Oh, we're loading the area. The Grey Mare, huh? You know, I hear the new management really ruined it. It ain't what it used to be. <laughs> Fire and steel? Let's take a look. Hello. Knowledge is power. Can you trade me in? Yes. There's much I... Good that you... You've got a... Knowledge. Not smart to carry around broken... Can I interest you in some of my wares? Absolutely. Rashida's special. What are these boots? That's cool. Oh yeah, I got all these gems. You've made a good bit of gold. I know. Thank you. There's much I can show. All right. Next, I need to sell more things. I guess this way, maybe? What is this building? Oh, we have a little town square. A circle, as it were, but most town squares actually are, funnily enough. Oh, these are the guilds. Okay, so is this going to be... Hmm. Ugh. Renoir's books. Welcome to... Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. You got a Hmm. Yeah, some of these are kind of just taking up space and like honestly, I could stand to just get rid of them. Like, am I fighting with people? I'm really not, you know? I'll keep the soul traps just because I, I you know, need it. Thank you. Be seeing you. Hmm. Have pity, sir. I already gave you a coin. Go ahead. Hmm. Obviously, we're speaking English in this language. In this language. In this universe. But, like, that's because English is the language that this game is sold in. So, you know. We're probably speaking, like, Tem Relic or something like that. But, you know. Ooh, Northern Goods and Trade. Here we go. Good day. Only the finest wares to buy and barter at Northern Goods and Trade. There's much I can show you. Mercantile. What can I interest you in? Okay. Hmm. 
You got a great deal there. That's that's um anyway, yeah, of course we're like gonna see like You've made a you We're gonna we're gonna see, deal. you know, English language stuff here, but like it is weird that we're like We're seeing English language stuff and like we're still seeing dudes with the last name Little. You know, like that that shouldn't be weird and yet it kind of is. That's more than I'd you. I don't know why, That's but we just we literally walked by that dude and his name was Little. Like the sign on his door said Little. And like, I don't know, something about that was just strange. Yeah, we don't need these That's anymore now that we can cast light ourselves. All right, cool. Now I guess we're gonna go. Wait, hold on. I hope. I. Good day. Am I gonna get a level also? Oh, I've been waiting. I haven't been sleeping. Right. Duh. Well met. Maybe I can rent a bed for a night here. You cannot escape the master's vigilance. Oh, brother, here we go. Only the chosen will I do not fear death. It's kinda of funny that they still have the same old man voice. Welcome to the oak. There's one. The. Farewell. Upstairs to the left. Somebody clean that dead guy out, huh? Right, yeah, we need to actually sleep. Okay. We'll power up, speed up, endurance up. Being smart doesn't hurt. A little luck now and then, it's the key. Patience is something, something. Should have read it when I had it open. Do I have another level? I totally do. Son of a bitch. All right, back we go. Big strength up, happy to see that. Big intelligence up, that's also great. Uh, speed. Well. Let's go with that. You can't believe how easy it is. You just have to go a little, and then it all turns to gold. Damn! It's the most amazing thing. Yesterday was hard, today it's easy. Just a good night's sleep. And yesterday's mysteries are today's masteries. Endurance. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's get more... Let's get more intelligence. Anything else? Damn. <laughs> More intelligence. You Today you wake up full of energy and ideas, and you know somehow overnight everything has changed. What a difference a day makes. Let's grab strength and... Uh, personality. Yeah. Okay. We are finally spent... We have no nothing. Oh, damn. I could have leveled up my... my uh, Foolish of me. Well met. I could have used that... I could have come back here and leveled up all my stuff. And then that would have been a level. Yeah, I could have gotten another level. Whatever, it's fine. Just because I'm not min-maxing like crazy doesn't mean I'm not going to be able to beat the game. So. How's that look, everyone? I do like the effect of these. 
noticing that these appear to be the same ruin uh, uh, things. Which is, you know, fine. All right. Let's party. Oh. That's unfortunate. Alteration go up. Great. Glad to hear. I've got Soul Trap, don't I? Yeah, I do. Do we trap that soul, or...? Yeah, there we go. You have captured a soul, all caps. Actually, not all caps, but don't mind me. Okay, we got two gates here, and uh, appears to be no way out. Tsunami gate, huh? Strange. Let's put a fresh sword on. So are these all touch spells? Is that why they're all here? Yeah, it is. And then these are like shooting spells. And then these are spells that go on me. I see. I'm doing it. I'm learning. <laughs> Tsunami. Is that a little weird to anyone else? I don't think you guys even give souls, so we're just going to plow through you. Sorry, I missed you. I was uh, listening to Mindless Self-Indulgence earlier and like, first and foremost, boy, is that something you do when you're mentally well? And I was, I was thinking, like, you could probably chart how bad somebody is by looking at their Spotify. Tsunami gate opened. You know? Like, if you look at a guy's Spotify and he's listening to, like, Nirvana, you're like, okay, he's not doing good, but he's not bad. I can still, like, shoot him a text. You know, I can shoot him a text and he'll probably be okay. But if he's listening to, like, Radiohead, it's like, don't even bother shooting him a text. He will not be okay. You know? Eruption gate. Boku no eruption? All right. Ow. Yeah, we got there quicker. Staff of Burden. Okay. I commented on how um sorry, I was I should finish my thing. I was like, yeah, you see someone listening to mindless self-indulgence like that's probably like a low point in their life, you know? Ah. 
Nice. Can I put that on? Cool. Yeah, I like having shields on. Just they're so heavy, you know? I also like having unmagicked stuff on me so I can practice my, my repairing things. On the one hand, it makes me sad that Skyrim got rid of um, <laughs> weapon durability. And that they kept that in for Fallout 4 as well. Because, like, that really dramatically changes the, like, in-game economy for one, you know? You're kind of whipping my ass, dude. Like, it is kind of nice to not have to worry about your stuff breaking, especially when it's something really nice. But they could also just say, oh, unique items will never be broken fully. That dude's almost going to kill me. We've never used these before. Maybe now would be a good time. Oh, this is how you enchant. Interesting. I had no idea. I've never clicked on those before. You were scary. Damn. Oh shit, this is breaking. Hmm. Well. Shame for you. I'm noticing this like orangey yellow line with red detailing coming from like enemies to me. I don't know what that is. Blade go up, cool. Okay. Let's give some of this. Okay. We were going to go to the gates. Oh, yeah. So when you, like... Nothing in there. Guess there wouldn't be anyway. When you, um, you know, take a durability system out of a game, you change the, you have now changed the economy in game, like irreparably forever. Um, because in Morrowind, the player is always wanting to keep extra hammers or extra, um, like stuff on them. Because they, they literally just might need it, you know? Like, I was always carrying around multiple weapons in um, Morrowind just because I was, like, worried that I would need it, you know? But in Skyrim, you can, you know, load in, get the default normal standard iron sword and play the whole game with that. And granted, you shouldn't because it's not got good... Um, Nice. It doesn't have good um, spell, but or it doesn't have good strength, but like it's still a, a sword and you can use it forever. And some people are like, you know, whatever anyway. But it's kind of my opinion that like, uh, I think the strategy that that requires is a little better. It's a little more fun.
Um, cause like I am carrying around multiple weapons on me just because I might need them at some point. And I very well may. Nobody else? Okay. I'm guessing that if anyone can survive standing in lava, it would be you, huh? But yeah, changing the economy like that was really kind of a shame. It worked in Skyrim, though, because, like, then you can get your weapon and you can be like, yeah, I'm going to use only this now. And that is an option for you. And that's great, you know? I'm, I'm happy that I'm able to, like, get Dawnbreaker and just use that forever. And then that just becomes a sword that I can just keep. And I'd never need to worry about, you know, bullshitting around with it. But one thing that I also really like is because the crafting is made so much better in, in Skyrim. Like, you can craft a sword and you can make it from the ground up, you know? And that's really what a lot of the strength is. <laughs> So one thing that was kind of bothering me is that difficulty and um, as is often the case with Bethesda games, the difficulty meter is just how long before it come becomes really easy. And the combat was starting to get easier, but now that I'm getting this slightly higher tier of guys, I'm actually having to use the time block. And that's cool. I like that. I like having to actually fight with some intent, you know? Fortify health? But yeah, on the basic little Dramoras, I could just, you know, swing away. But with these guys, I'm having to use the time block. I'm having to use more of my potions. All right. Cool. Restoration goes up. Glad to hear. Yeah, like with these guys, you can kind of just clash with them, you know? Well, actually, now that I say that, they actually are like staggering me. about RPGs is that a lot of them tend to be either really action RPGs at least kind of tend towards being really easy um this was obviously something that you know souls intended to change where like it's not going to be crazy impossible which is something that I feel like a lot of people misunderstand souls was never supposed to be impossible like it, it's always supposed to be hard but doable it just requires more thought you know Cause like how much thought is what I'm doing requiring? Oh Jesus! Oh shit! I was backed up against a rock. Fuck! I don't even know where I am now. Mmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's go this way. Oh, yeah. We should have gone this way in the first place anyway. Doi. Can I fix these things? Do I need to fix them again?
Okay. Cool. This mechanic of like of having all these like little dungeons that you go into is still kind of weird, you know? How big that soul, by the way? Common. I'm getting a lot of common souls, so I think they must be common sized. Do you give me anything? I've already forgotten. No, you don't. Okay. It's going well. I am kind of wishing for a better healing spell. I know that I have access to one, but it's just not as good. You know? It's kind of the problem with it. That dude's having a hard time. <laughs> well, there he went. Hmm, blood fountain, but nothing else. Did he really say open wide to me, by the way? <coughs> Little man can't take a drop, huh? Poor guy. Portals of natural disaster. Oh, I guess that's why the gates have been called Tsunami. Oh, yeah. Until recently, we've been fighting you guys exclusively. Clanfare runs. Not real clanfares. Okay. I've, as I, I think I've mentioned this before, but I've already done a couple of these. And, like, they're not getting any more or less interesting. They're all about as boring as, as you know, any other one would be. Hard fight. So I might start doing these off camera, but again, like... Oh, Jesus. I feel like I'm having to do more stuff off camera than I would like. Because, like, part of this is like, hey, it's my original playthrough. It's my first playthrough. I've never played this game before. And you're all getting to see it for the first time. And, like, if I don't actually do all the things in the game, then, like, you know, I don't want to I don't want to deprive people of it. I don't want people to miss out, you know? <laughs> Stormbow. Cool. That's fine. Back to here, huh? Corridors of Dark Salvation. I feel like a lot of these are almost randomly generated. Man, so can you, like, only make as many enchantments as there are sigil stones? And if you only get sigil stones from these... Oh. Ah. 
Oh boy. Hmm. You call me churl? You guys are the churls. I mean, maybe they aren't, but... It's a pretty pitched fight here, so I'm going to stock up. One's down. Your light armor is like a second skin after all these days and week wearing it. You, you have learned to move easily with it in combat. As a journeyman of light armor, you're no longer damaged as swiftly. of pride, huh? Wow. It's a pretty good weapon. So heavy, though. Oh, right. Let me swap it back. Um, I'm going to do a little more of this off screen because, like, you know, these are all pretty similar uh, and, like, that's fine. You know, got to save money when you're developing a game, but like, yeah, you know, but I've been Alfred. I'll see you guys next time. This has been Oblivion. I hope you had a good time. I know I did. I'll see you guys later. Bye.